but sellers, if you are selling a home, it's probably because you want to buy a home. And if you're following our advice for buyers and not waiting for the market to get perfect to buy, and you're going to buy this year, then you're probably going to want to sell. And you know what? I say do it. Sell this year if you're ready to buy and ready to move up or downsizing because we had a pretty strong seller year last year, even with the high interest rates. We're going to see lower interest rates. It's definitely going to be a great year for sellers to sell, but I do think buyers are still going to be fiscally conservative yeah. and sellers are still going to have to price their homes right, make sure that they fix things that are broken or that they have a move-in ready property because if buyers get a glimpse that there's something that they can negotiate on, they're going to go in for blood and do it. That's a really good point. I, I do it with my buyers. I, so do I. <laughs> you know, if there's something that needs to be fixed and my buyers are spending all the money they have, we're definitely going to ask for those repairs. Of course you are. Of course yeah. you are. And that's the right thing that you should be doing. And sellers, if you haven't taken good care of your home and you have deferred maintenance, be prepared for having to give up a little bit of cash yeah. to those buyers to get people in the door or to get a deal closed. You know, we've done tons of videos in the past about like, what does that process look like if you are a seller who's also looking to buy and how you manage that process? Right. And so you definitely watch those videos, but have us over. Like, we'd yeah. love to sit in your living room and actually have these conversations, not just about that process, but also what maintenance is necessary right. in your home before we sell and what is like a nice to have. You know, because a lot of times it looks great to go remodel that bra that bathroom, but it may not give you the same return as Good point. doing the electrical issues that you have. Oh my God, we're yeah. fixing that roof that you've been kind of, you know, messing with. So just have us over. We'd love to have these conversations with you. Oh, I told totally you. How to get ready to sell your house. I just spent an hour with the client, with Donna yesterday, talking about all kinds of fun things that they want to do to their yeah. house and, and actually convincing them to not do some things that they thought they should do. Right. I'm like... Don't do that. Don't replace all the doorknobs on the doors. You don't have to do that. Oh, but yes, get rid of the hot tub that doesn't work, right? Which they were willing to do. That wasn't. A, I didn't have to convince them. But still, it's. I think it's great to be able to pull in a real estate agent that you trust yes. and walk, who's willing to do that kind of walk through with you. Absolutely. And we're willing to do it in the nitty gritty. I even offered to help them find paint colors for their house because I kind of love that kind of stuff. That's fun to do. It's like, fun to do. That's <laughs> fun for us. You know, we're not all just contracts. Right, but, right. Know. But yeah, no, I think that, you know, for sellers, yes, this year, do the maintenance. If you've been putting it off because it's expensive, do it. If you decide not to sell, you're going to have a better house for you. Right. When you decide to sell, you're going to be very happy you did it then and not under the gun to try and get it done prior to close. Oh, my God. Absolutely. And also getting that maintenance done now means that you save yourself probably more money in repairs down the road anyway. Right. That's so, a really good point. So just do it. If it's I mean, leaking now, it's dripping somewhere. Oh, my God. Yes. And it's <laughs> going to be way worse. Two years from now than it is now. And you don't want to deal with that when you're getting ready to list your house. You definitely no. don't. You don't want a buyer to find it either when you're in the middle of trying to sell your house. Just like as when you go out to buy, you don't want to find those things that you're going to have to do as soon as you've just spent all your money to buy this thing. So I definitely think it's going to be a good year to sell. And I know there are some folks out there that are like, no, no, I think I should rent my house. I think you should think about that pretty seriously. Have because, a conversation with us. Yeah, have a conversation with us. Have a conversation with the property manager. Yeah. Renting your home is not a bad option, but there's a lot of moving parts to consider. Rental um, rules are very restrictive in Seattle and no one takes care of your house the way you do. <laughs> so for, you know, for better or worse. <laughs> so yeah, call us. We're happy to have a conversation with you.